Namaste. Uh, back to the Wednesday. And uh, today is um, not only Wednesday, it's uh, Amavasya starting this evening before 7.30, I think up to before 5.30 or 5.30 tomorrow. So it's a Mahalaya Amavasya. So new moon day every month, but this month Mahalaya Amavasya. Maha means the very big, I mean mighty. Uh, so much uh, effort, powerful. So also Mahalaya Amavasya for the Pitru Dina we call because for uh, people in the from the ancient they were doing the Pitru Karma for all the um, like uh, parents they were doing for their great grandfather I mean their uh, parents and of course the great grandson and the great son will be doing for their parents <coughs> just like that it will be coming in the uh, tradition so whoever have the kids like uh, the kids they have to do that for their parents and their parents they were doing for their parents so it was just coming like that that's why they say we should know uh, like uh, seven generations in the family with the name and of course they give the names uh, like a great uh, grandfather's name or grandmother name also they give of course mostly they will give the name for the male means like uh, any god name uh, that's very common or kula devata uh, who or have that like a uh, family uh, god a family temple like that as you say the family doctor like that each one have their own family temple some may have the tripati uh, some may have like a uh, murga as their family because from that tr family tradition they were worshiping murga so it's come like a kula devata and uh, of course for a uh, Atma Devata, some people they take, no, uh, like uh, they have uh, my energy, I feel in this energy form, I feel more, more closer. Uh, so they will take any, any energy. So, but uh, different, different energy in the different form, in the different name we are calling. So like that uh, family temple also there. And um, so like that they give anyway the God's name. Uh, that also will be like, um, uh, Maybe one of the grandmother have the name like that. Uh, my name also like the grandmother passed away. So after three months, baby born. So they just thought, okay, a grandmother name will give to her. Devasana like that. Uh, the Anandraj name even like uh, three generations. Like uh, Ananda Bhavanani, of course, Swamiji's name. Uh, before his Diksha, after his Diksha, Gidhananda Giri Swamihal. And um, so his father, Sukraj Bhavanani. So from the Sukraj Raj is there and of course Ananda, Dr. Ananda Bhavalayagi Bhavanani also Ananda. So uh, the Ananda is maintained in the, all the three generations, uh, I mean uh, from the uh, from Swamiji. So it's like that Ananda also coming and uh, Sukraj Bhavanani, from Sukraj Bhavanani, uh, Raj also there. That's why are they given the, his name Anand Raj, Anand Raj Bhavanani. Like that the people usually keep so that they will remember my grandfather name, grandmother name, great-grandfather name, great-grandmother name, like that they'll be remembering. And uh, they, every year, they will be giving that, that, uh, that ceremony they do. First year, when they pass, they do really uh, all the ceremonies. It goes few days, actually. And of course, for again, the first year, after the one year, they do all the ceremonies. And every year, one day, they will be doing the ceremonies. Of course, this Malaya, they say the proverb even we have, if you forget, you better do at least in the Malaya Mavasa in that time. So for 15 days, they will see which, because as we give it the name with the star sound, when they born, what the star falling on the day and the timing. So with that, they give the name. So of course, like that, they see the Thiti also what the timing they passed, uh, with that they will be checking the timing and the tithi. In that tithi they will be giving the, doing the ceremony every year for them. And uh, so uh, inviting the pitru, so we, we, we do the pitru karma, we say. So that's uh, all the, that uh, all the, that ceremony is doing things. We do go like this, this way, the mudras we go. That's why when we are doing usual items, we go like this, we never do opposite way. Even when you are uh, pouring the water, even we, are, we make sure this way, 
not this way because all the opposite way because we avoid the the south because all the death ceremonies all the ceremonies they are for, i mean for i mean facing south and doing that's why we avoid the south mostly so mostly all the auspicious all the pujas even lighting the lamp everything we face the east uh, of course for the some of the practices north dakshina murti is there in the north side so we see so that's why they were given the importance to the all the directions uh, everything was important actually like uh, last we, uh, class we are seeing the shape uh, number everything have the energy even the colors have the energy so that's why the amavasa very uh, great uh, mahalaya amavasa means so the pitru they invite the pitru so whenever they are doing every year even they are inviting the pitru and uh, satisfying them and uh, this time the story also there uh, when karna went to the um, when he passed away because he was very generous with with his generosity everyone knows whatever the people ask they were he was giving to them every every everything so same way like the swami ji was giving no poor ask whatever even though he had only the packet money that also he just given come i heard the stories that when he is buying things in the shops he don't take the balance even he just leave with them and come wherever he goes like that i heard many stories i heard so the, he was very generous to who were asking a giving so but he did everything but the dhana we with this they say that food giving the food offering the food is very main important dhana but he didn't do much of that so when he went uh, after passing when he was in the other loka and uh, of course he was feeling hungry so he was asking oh, i am feeling hungry then they said no you should not feel hungry because uh, when you change to your loka then you should not feel the hungry hunger and uh, but when they are showing that okay you uh, you you faced because you helped them you gave whatever the people asked but at the same time if someone is hungry you showed the place where the food they can have so that's a thing it is helping so you just chew i mean the just like um putting your thumb i mean the index finger in your uh, mouth then you feel you feel you may not feel the hunger because the baby also goes no sometimes they keep the thumb in long time uh, so after a few years they may change the habit so like that he was just doing then after that he he didn't feel the hunger so king karna was uh, asking uh, dharma raja yama dharma okay i will um, I, i i am not satisfied because i didn't do this uh, food the, the dhana with the food so i will go back to the bhuloka and do that uh, dharma then i will come back so please give me some days so he just told okay you can go maybe like 10 or 15 days like that so he came and do the dharma of the giving the dhana of the food for everybody satisfying all the all the people's hunger so he went back so in that time he was asking the yama dharma to give the boon to karna uh, so he also accepted okay whatever the boon you want you can have so he asked that okay in the mahalaya amavasa time for the 15 days you please uh, give the permission to the pitrus all the pitrus they go to the buloka and have the food with their uh, whoever i mean parents i mean the great all the generation who are there in the family now they will be offering doing the ceremony so they will have that uh, pitru satisfaction when they are doing and so they will go to the buloka and come back so uh, ask them uh, give them the permission then they can go in that time especially to the buloka and come back so that way he said okay yeah, i accepted uh, for your boon whatever your satisfaction the same way whatever the boon you are asking it can happen like that so that's the very special the mahalaya amavasa today and uh, so this evening and uh, tomorrow also people will be doing and uh, amavasa of course very great um, energy day so sometimes people has to be uh, they will feel that uh, imbalance something happening that will sure, surely showing the sign uh, so they will be uh, they want to be very careful and they do most of the pujas they are little bit strong way so that they can balance the energy so with that uh, we are actually i planned again with a great energy song for the goddess devi actually so for shakti uh, it's also new moon day uh, special new moon mahalaya amavasa call so we i plan to do the shakti song
So Shakti, already we are, when we are telling Shakti even, you feel the energy strongly. So Om Shakti. Om Shakti. We repeat few times. Om Shakti, Om Shakti, Om Shakti, Om. So quite a few times we will be repeating. Then Shri Shakti. Shri Shakti. Jaya Shakti. Shri Shakti, Jaya Shakti, Maha Shakti, Om. So every time we are repeating the Shakti quite often in this small bhajan. It's a modifier, modification of other song, actually Tamil song. It's a quite long one, so we are just doing the simple version. So Om Shakti, Om Shakti, Om Shakti, Om Shri Shakti, Jaya Shakti, Maha Shakti, Om. Om Kari. So Shri, again, it's very auspicious when you say Shri even. Uh, that is Mahalakshmi actually. So Jaya, victory, and Maha again, mighty. As we have the practices, Maha Mudra we have in the yoga practice. Of course, in Swamiji's uh, unique uh, practices of sadhana and the hatinas we do in that we have the maha mudra when you're going from the dhanu i mean the, from the vajrasana we go the first version second version we join the hands in yoga mudra uh, like that we have the maha mudras and uh, asana variations also there in the maha mudra asana and uh, of course maha means mighty as we call maha ganapati the big lord ganesha very big uh, big size uh, and uh, Quite a big and so we call Maha Ganesha, Maha Ganapati. So like that Maha Shakti. So for Shakti also Maha. So whenever you hear the Maha means mighty. So Om Shakti, Om Shakti, Om Shakti, Om Shri Shakti, Jai Shakti, Maha Shakti, Om. Om Kari is the form of the Om, the Pranava, the Pranava, the Om. So Om Kari. Om Kari, Ring Kari. Omkari, Rinkari, 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 Om Shakti, Om Shakti, Om Shakti, Shakti Jai, Shakti Maha Shakti, Omkari, Rinkari, Karumari, Om, Mahavari, Tirisholi, Karumari, Om, Mahamari, Tirisholi, Again, Maha, Mahamari, Tirisholi, who had the Trishula in her hand, Mahamaya Tirishuli, Tirishuli, Ma Kali Vom. Ma means even mother. Again, Maha is mighty. Ma Kali Vom. Mighty also there. Ma, when you say Ma, Amma also there. Maha Kali Vom. Of course, Amma just birthday this Sunday, just uh, we, on Sunday. So just just after the the date very close. So I just thought, okay, we'll do the the song for baby, Ma, Amma. So in Tamil we call Amma. What's in Sanskrit, Amba. So with the song again uh, with the goddess and um, they do the. When they do the pujas, it's with the energy like uh, we are uh, seeing the like the mandalas we saw. Like when we are making the home of it, even it should be mostly like a square shape. But Ganesh also mostly square shape. Sometimes they make the the home of it, the circle like uh, with the chakra energy. The circle, of course, you can see sometimes the angle. Yes, many angles. We talk about the ankle and the angle when you are doing the three corner asana and the asana, the triangle and um, the homopita. Sometimes they make with the triangle shape, and um, sometimes you can see like a that's are exp explaining the yoni mudra. So sometimes they make this way a little bit different way for the shakti, the homopita. They make. In the shape, when they are making the homo pita, they are getting ready even in the, for the, the egnya, for the homas. So all the different shapes they use when they are doing the offering that, that um, with the ghee and all. 
the yajna, the sacrificing when they are doing. So all the different shapes they use actually. And of course, with the deity, even the related uh, mandala they use actually. As Swamiji made the different, different mandalas for the different uh, Swami, Swami Samadhis in our Kambi Swami Madam. So one Swami will be in the square chakra as we go for the chakras. Uh, they made the square and the circle and the, like uh, last class we saw the, I mean the seven, I mean sorry, the six point. The shape, uh, that's like a six point star. Like that, all the shapes they use actually. So quite common, you find the the uh, I mean the even the columns is never end actually. If we you see when they are making the column, even something will be going like this, and uh, all the lines will be continuation. And after the line again, you you see sometimes the circle like a half moon, half moon. Uh, I mean at the chandra, as we have at the chandra asana. I think sometime we did that also before. So like half moon, full circle and uh, like a Swadhisthana, we have the half moon. Just like that, they, even in the columns they make, like the angles they make, they put the angle. So it's never end actually. Like a is telling telling no, from the Bindu. So Nada Bindu Kala. So with the Nada, with the um, vibration, the Bindu starts, then the Kala starting. So from the Bindu, they start. Then it goes, never end. So you can see all the designs, you will see the lotus or even you will see the going like they make the lamp deeper. See all the like uh, triangles, always there's a, there's a shape, there's a, because the energy is there. So that's why they are making in the columns even the, with the energy. So facing up triangle, facing down triangles, always is never end. You will find in the end uh, like this. So even in the columns you find this way, this thing actually, like a circle. Or the lotus, even the circles like a conch. So different, different, just for each angle, I just put different, different, uh, whatever the design they used to do. It's just, we are just calling design, but it's not design actually. The energetic uh, symbol, as we put the, the swastikam also, no, swast, the, as you feel well-being. Swast, when you feel comfortable, well-being. So, swastikam, all the different, different designs you find uh, in the column, even when they are putting, simply even when they are putting the simple one, you can, you will find uh, like a conch. We have a conch flower. So, for each uh, puja, each deity, and some uh, special flower is uh, related to that puja, like as for the Navagraha, when you are talking different colors, different vastra, different color vastra is related. Like that for the each uh, deity, for each energy, they make the different energy, whatever the shape. Because the uh, ankle, uh, we are uh, doing in uh, asana, we are putting our body in the ankle shape. Uh, when you are doing the chakra asana, we are making like a circle. That's what in the dance also, when you are doing the movements, it goes sometimes half circle, we are making the hands. Uh, sometimes we are making the full circle when you are doing when you are moving, we are doing moving in the line, Rekha we call. We are putting our hands in the line. Sometimes we are uh, moving in the line. Sometimes we are going all four directions. We go right, come back, left, come back, then turn in the side, right, coming back, left turning side and coming back. So all the formations we are uh, making when you are doing in the dance even, when you are dancing even, we are uh, making that energy, the shapes. Uh, the movements make the create the energy so that's why we whenever we sing dance or do yoga you automatically feel more uh, energetic actually after doing that so all the shapes so all the designs when you go to the temple you can easily see in all of the part of the temple every place excuse me <clears throat> so when you enter even 
like the, in the stone, even the side of the wall, the entrance, even in the pillars, that's the main channelizing energy for the temple. That like a stamba, we call the Brahma Danda, like that in the body, a main important uh, one. The same way in the temple, the Doja Stamba, uh, all the places like in the wall. Because in the temple when you go, is outer prahara is there, another one second prahara, inner prahara, then more more closer, one more prahara. Like that you go minimum three times. As we do the practices in Swamiji tradition also, minimum three times we do any kriyas, uh, simply simply moving kriyas even, the systematic rational movement and uh, the asanas or the pranayama especially, when you are doing very very minimum is three rounds. It's just like maybe chewing few just like one or two biscuits like that, nothing actually. So you feel just maybe fresh, little fresh like that. So when you do like a six rounds and nine rounds, then you feel like, okay, you had the breakfast like that. So when you go like 18 rounds, well, maybe you satisfied your one meal like that. When you go like a 27 rounds like that, you feel like a four na thirty. Just you feel satisfied after that few hours, you don't get a any, I mean, hunger even, like Karna felt even after going to the Ahmad Maharaj, after he took him, he felt the hunger. Because he did all the other dana, but uh, not uh, much of the food, the Anna dana, we call. So like that, uh, you don't feel, no, after doing many rounds of uh, the, prada, the pranayamas. Like that, we have the practices even, like minimum three rounds, no? From that, slowly, slowly, our within our uh, practices and sadhana, we are uh, going to the many rounds we are practicing later when you are able. So like that, when you go to the temple, even like uh, they come minimum three rounds uh, or sometimes they just keep within one round production, they keep. Like that, when you see all the shape, all the designs you see, uh, it's, uh, I mean, telling the energy, uh, all the energy movements. Uh, but not many people knows. Even the temple, the pandit, when we ask, very few will give the explanation actually. So even in the dance, when I was in the college for five years in the dance college, no one mentioned actually. Even the top dancers, when we are taking the classes in Chennai, some of the other uh, top dancers, especially for the expression when you are working, and um, they are just teaching the items, not really touching this part at all actually, except uh, Maji or Dr. Sir actually. The dance, what the uh, with the movement or with the mudras, what the energy we are creating, how much that uh, it's giving uh, the energy, how much we are creating. So in the yoga and dance, we are creating the energy. We could uh, we could uh, move the energy. Of course, we can save the energy. Uh, the other sports, uh, we we have to use our energy. So only this like type of uh, hours, we really feel the energy in all the way when you are doing when you are after doing. You can keep like that, but the, when the like um, when you are talking about the yoni, actually the exact thing, even with the with the shivalinga shape, huh? the top part sometimes we call that a shiva pita. In the in the middle, Vishnu pita also we call. This is actually the yoni they call. So when they do the abhishekams, it comes, then the water goes this way. Then the bottom part, we call that Brahma Pita. So Brahma Pita, Vishnu Pita and the Shiva Pita. Even in the Shiva Linga, all three forms we say. But of course the middle one is like on the, the Shiva Linga, the top. Like Dutch has telling, you know, from the top when you are looking, the top. From top, when you are looking at the Shiva Linga, you can see the Bindu, the point, the dot, the Bindu, just like the, the bigger Bindu, you can see. About the size of the Shiva Linga, you can see. So like that, they, they when they see the Shiva Linga even, we say the Yoni, when we are, uh, ducks and has a very, very great section actually for the, uh, I mean, the Shanmukhi Mudra, I think last Saturday. So the Shanmukhi Mudra, we call the Yoni Mudra, also other name for, for that Mudra. So with that they do, of course, um, the shape also they have given. I'm not good at the drawing actually, so just for the idea's sake. When they're talking about the skull and the connection with the sinus,
the shapes also exactly they say for the yoni when they're talking about the yoni so a so, lot of shapes lot of um, things actually to when you go and when you practice and uh, everything actually when you go to the temple when you dance uh, when you sing the different uh, energy you are making when you are doing the yoga practice that's also you are making um, uh, too many varieties too many different uh, energy you know because the pranayama is in some of them for cleansing cleansing pranayama some of them to move the energy some of them to save the energy different different way you no know? so some of them for the dhyan the meditative pranayamas the asanas also different different no just like that all the different 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 way different energy is there so for shakti energy we are going to sing today ma shakti maha shakti so we chant the uh, durga gayati and we go for the bhajan om katyayanaya vidmahe kanya kumari dhimahi tanno gauri prachodayate vo Oh. Different way they chant the Gaiti Madras also. Tanno Ghauri or Tanno Durga. So different way they chant. So sometimes you may, you may have, I mean, learned Durga Prajodayate also. We can chant. So we start, of course, Durga with the energy is Simha Vahini, we call. When she killed the Mahisha, Mahisha Asura, so she called Mahisha Asura Mardini. So when she come in the Simha Vahana, so with the strong energy, Mahisha Asura Mardini, she goes, one kill, just cut the head of the Mahisha Asura and just killing the Asura with her Trishula in the hand. So of course, that Shiva also, you'll find the Trishula and Devi also, you find the Trishula. So again, Trishula, when they draw, is three three lines the trishula also three lines and of course when they are uh, worship of the shiva they go three lines this way when they are putting with the vibhuti so when they are making the vibhuti and going this way the three lines as we are talking the main nadis ida left side pingala right side and the middle sushumna so the same way the vaishnavas when they are uh, worship of the vishnu they go this way the three lines again for the nama tripundraka when they are talking about that so like that trishula also three as you are pronouncing in english three same way for trikonasana you pronounce three same way so three so very strong energy again durga and the shakti of course gauri parvati uma i mean quite soft actually and uh, when she dance with the shiva even uh, the lasya type of dance when she is dancing very soft the dance even called a lasya very soft actually so but when the shiva dance is we call the tandava very strong dance so they call tandava of course when she is like uma gauri parvati soft way but when she become like a durga quite strong of course kali very very strong actually very control very difficult to control they say so uh, of course we i chosen the song for today especially this again i am also wearing the red this so <laughs> i hope it's not too not maha maha shakti so we chant for shakti and uh, start om shakti para shakti om shakti para shakti om shakti para shakti that param like a param shiva para shakti om shakti om shakti om shakti om om shakti om shakti om shakti om shri shakti jaya shakti maha shakti om shri shakti jaya shakti maha shakti om Om Shakti, Om Shakti, Om Shakti, Om Om Shakti, Om Shakti, Om Shakti, Om Shri Shakti, Jai Shakti, Maha Shakti, Om 
श्री शक्ति जय शक्ति महाशक्ति वो ओम कारी री कारी करु मारी वो ओम कारी री कारी करु मारी वो महामाही तेरी शोली माँ काली वो महामाही तेरी शोली माँ काली वो माँ काली वो ओम शक्ति Om Shakti Om Shakti Om Shakti Om Om Shakti Om Shakti Om Shakti Om Om Shakti Om Shakti Om Shakti Excuse me I told you know Maha Shakti means Maha Shakti so you have to be careful <coughs> so if you want you can make little faster also so we'll try one more round little faster like middle speed <coughs> om shakti om shakti om shakti om om shakti om shakti om shakti om shri shakti jaya shakti maha shakti om shri shakti jaya shakti maha shakti om om kari ring kari karu mari om om kari ring kari karu mari om maha mai tere shooli ma kali om maha mai tere shooli ma kali om ma kali om om shakti om shakti om shakti 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 Om Shri Shakti Jai Shakti Maha Shakti Om Shri Shakti Jai Shakti Maha Shakti Om Om Kari Ri Kari Karu Mari Om Om Kari Ri Kari Karu Mari Om Maha Mai Tiri Shuli Ma Kali Om Maha Mai Tiri Shuli Ma Kali Om Maha Mai Tiri Shuli Ma Kali Om Ma Kali Om Ma Kali Om Ma Kali Om Om Shakti Om Shakti Om Shakti Om Om Shakti Om Shakti Om Shakti Om Shri Shakti Jai Shakti Maha Shakti Om Shri Shakti Jai Shakti Maha Shakti Om Maha Shakti Om Maha Shakti Om Maha Shakti Om Om Shakti, Parashakti, Om Shakti, Parashakti, Om Shakti, Parashakti, Om. For some time when you are working with the kids, we will chant, I mean add them to chant and do the practices. So sometimes in the jumping in, we ask them to do like Malla Kriya, we have the practices like Mallas for the war to be very strong. Already when you're chanting in Shakti, you feel the Shakti. When you're chanting Maha Shakti, Kali, like that, you really feel that strong. As you do the Virasana, the strong, that energy, you feel like a very, very brave and the heroic, that um, boldness automatically you feel when they're doing this asanas. And it gives the energy for us that you could be, I mean, like a hero, you could be very strong. Uh, whether we could fly or not, but still we feel like a, we are uh, up in the energy. Similarly, with the kids, we add the chanting for them. So sometimes when they are doing the, like a jumping way, we will ask them to chant Om Shakti, Bara Shakti, like instead of coming like a Malakriya, sometimes because we use Basrika we use sometimes and sometimes we use the Hakara from the again the Agni energy, the fire energy, Manipura chakra area. When you feel ha when you charge, I mean say ha even when you're making the sound, you feel that um, the diaphragm I mean, how much strong it is getting more stronger. So when you do the hakara, make the hakara sound, ha. So we will make them to do the hakaras. Sometimes, sometimes they go with the the chanting like a 
ಓಂ ಶಕ್ತಿ ಏನು ಬ್ರತ್ ಅಂಡ್ ಕಮ್ ಡೌನ್ ಓಂ ಶಕ್ತಿ ಆರ್ ವಿತ್ ಜಂಪ್ ಇವನ್ ವಿಲ್ ಮೇಕ್ ದಮ್ ಲೈಕ್ ವಿ ಕಾಲ್ ದಟ್ ಮಂಡೂಕ ಜಂಪ್ ಲೈಕ್ ಫ್ರಾಕ್ ಜಂಪ್ ಓಂ ಶಕ್ತಿ ಪರಾಶಕ್ತಿ ಆಸ್ ದೇ ಆರ್ ಡೂಯಿಂಗ್ ದ ಪ್ರಾಕ್ಟೀಸ್ ಸಮ್ಟೈಮ್ ವಿ ಆಡ್ ದಮ್ ಆಲ್ ದ ಚಾಂಟಿಂಗ್ಸ್ ಲೈಕ್ ಲೈಕ್ ಫಾರ್ ಗಣೇಶ ಎನಿ ಸ್ಪೆಷಲ್ ಡೇ ಗಣೇಶ ದೇ ಚಾಂಟ್ ಓಂ ಗಣಪತಿಗೆ ನಮಃ ಆಸ್ ದೇ ಆರ್ ಡೂಯಿಂಗ್ ಲೈಕ್ ದಿ ಪುಲಿಂಗ್ ದ ಇಯರ್ಸ್ ಅಂಡ್ ಕಮಿಂಗ್ ಡೌನ್ ಸಿಮ್ಲರ್ ಲೈಕ್ ಪೇ ದ ಮಲಕ್ರಿಯ ಕಮಿಂಗ್ ಡೌನ್ ಕ್ವಾಟ್ ಅ ಫ್ಯೂ ಟೈಮ್ಸ್ ಫ್ರಮ್ ಐ ಮೀನ್ ಅಪ್ ಅಂಡ್ ಡೌನ್ ವೆನ್ ದೇ ಆರ್ ಕಮಿಂಗ್ ವಿ ದೇ ಚಾಂಟ್ ಓಂ ಗಣಪತಿಗೆ ನಮಃ ಸೊ ದೇ ಚಾಂಟ್ ಅಂಡ್ ಡೂ ಅಗೇನ್ ದ ಸೇಮ್ ಟೈಮ್ ದೇ ಆರ್ ಯೂಸಿಂಗ್ ದಟ್ ಲೈಕ್ ಆಸ್ ಯು ಶೋ ಇನ್ ದ ಡಾನ್ಸ್ ಕಾಶ ಅಂಡ್ ಕುಶ ವಿತ್ ದಟ್ ಮುದ್ರ ದೇ ಆರ್ ಜಸ್ಟ್ ಫುಲ್ಲಿಂಗ್ ಎವ್ರಿ ಟೈಮ್ ಇನ್ ದ ಕಮಿಂಗ್ ಡೌನ್ ಇಲ್ ಬಿ ಫುಲ್ಲಿಂಗ್ ದ ಇಯರ್ಸ್ ಅಂಡ್ ಕಮಿಂಗ್ ಡೌನ್ ಸೊ ಓ ದ ಸೆರಾವಣಿಸ್ ಇಸ್ ದರ್ ಪಿಯರ್ಸಿಂಗ್ ದ ಇಯರ್ಸ್ ಪಿಯರ್ಸಿಂಗ್ ದ ನೋಸ್ ಸ್ಪೆಷಲಿ ಫಾರ್ ದ ಗರ್ಲ್ಸ್ ಪಿಯರ್ಸಿಂಗ್ ದ ನೋಸ್ ಸೊ ದೇ ಕೆಪ್ ಎವ್ರಿಥಿಂಗ್ ಇನ್ ದ ಸೆರಾಮಣಿ ಟು ಮೇಕ್ ಸಮ್ ಎನರ್ಜಿ ದ ಸಮ್ ಪುಷ್ ಸಮ್ ಫುಲ್ ಸೊ ಎ ಡಿಫ್ರೆಂಟ್ ಪ್ಲೇಸಸ್ ಇನ್ ದ ಡಿಫ್ರೆಂಟ್ ಎನರ್ಜೀಸ್ ಇನ್ ದ ಡಿಫ್ರೆಂಟ್ ಸೆರಾಮಣಿಸ್ ವಿ ಕುಡ್ ಸಿ ವೈ ದೇ ಡಿಡ್ ಆಲ್ ದಿಸ್ ಥಿಂಗ್ಸ್ ಲೈಕ್ ದಟ್ ಸೊ ದಟ್ಸ್ ಇನ್ ದ ಸ್ಕೂಲ್ ಈವನ್ ವೆನ್ ದ ಆರ್ ಗಿವಿಂಗ್ ದ ಕಿಡ್ಸ್ ಲೈಕ್ ಅ ಪನಿಷ್ಮೆಂಟ್ ದೇ ಟೆಲ್ ದಮ್ ಯು ಡೂ ಟೆನ್ ಟೈಮ್ಸ್ ದಿಸ್ ಗೋಯಿಂಗ್ ಅಪ್ ಅಂಡ್ ಡೌನ್ ಲೈಕ್ ದಟ್ ಇಟ್ಸ್ ನಾಟ್ ಪನಿಷ್ಮೆಂಟ್ ದೇ ಆರ್ ಜಸ್ಟ್ ಮೇಕಿಂಗ್ ದಮ್ ಟು ಬಿ ಮೋರ್ ಅಲರ್ಟ್ ಹವರ್ ಟು ಬಿ ಮೋರ್ ವಿತ್ ದ ಹೆಂತು ಐ ಮೀನ್ ವಿತ್ ಇಂಟ್ರೆಸ್ಟ್ ದೇ ಕ್ಯಾನ್ ಸ್ಟಡಿ ಮೋರ್ ಎನರ್ಜಿ ದೇ ವಿಲ್ ಪ್ರಿಪೇರ್ i mean they get more energy while they are doing this 10 times 10 rounds so all the practices while they are doing in the yoga class also will be making them with the chanting so that all the pulling and push they have more energy and um, more like like offering day, they are chanting and doing of course they started to call that uh, super brain yoga i think and uh, so our brain also working super brain yoga but uh, they did the wrong way the breathing i think so that's why always in akka our uh, we call akka means our uh, renugaka when you are learning with her and uh, she always say without breathing nothing benefit nothing working so do make sure you are breathing make sure you are breathing even simple movements when they are lifting the hands even you make sure you are breathing and breathing out while lifting in i mean lifting i mean lifting the hand in breath while bringing down out breath always she says even for the simple movement she make sure that we are breathing so without breathing nothing is there without breathing no benefit so always she remains uh, again and again 100 times similarly the amaji class i always will hear think what you are doing think uh, think about what you are breathing that's uh, 1008 times they are repeating us to be aware of the breath with the prana that's the energy so with the shakti energy we'll close today this Wednesday. I'll see you next Wednesday. Thank you.